Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So today I've got a really interesting topic, uh, something that uh, I haven't done before uh, with this, this group. Well, not before, it's been, it's been a while. But I sat with it today and I said, what are we going to work on today? And I didn't want this one to be true. Uh, and so the, what we're going to work on today is stepping into and creating perfect, abundant health and energy. We're going to step into health and energy and vitality. Who likes the sound of stepping into an abundance of energy and vitality? Before we do it, I want to just let you all know uh, I am not a certified health professional and I'm not giving any health advice. Uh, we are just here to work on the energetic structures. I know it's very powerful, um, but I'm not trying to say I'm a medical professional. <laughs> True? Cool. So health is obviously a very important part of manifesting, right? Because you've got to experience and you've got to be able to, to have what it is you want. So my question for all of you is, is you know, what is health? What is health? What is, uh, what is vitality? What is that to you? Because it's such an interesting thing that we seem to, you know, not really have a definitive answer for, but I think it's, uh, I think it's an interesting question. You know, someone's just typed in a state of ease. Could be, could be. Well, so what is, what is health? What is health to you? What is having, you know, a healthy body or being healthy, what is it? That's all right, Karen. <laughs> right on. What is health? And we'll try to work on having you buy locate Karen, but that's in my next trick. Cool. So, so what, what is energy? What is that? You know, one of our true choices is to, you know, to, to have an abundance of health and vitality. Mm. See, it's interesting when we, when we ask ourselves that question is, is what is our definition of it? And so, where does energy and where does this health, where does this beliefs come from? And so I want to just bring into the, the idea, the idea of a placebo. Uh, how many of you understand what a placebo is? So a placebo is an inert substance that when taken creates a, a result. And a placebo is, is very interesting. In fact, one of the most interesting studies was in World War II that a surgeon ran out of morphine. So he ran out of morphine and he had to amputate limbs and all sorts of things. So he ran out of morphine. So what he did is he took a saline drip and he just, he put a different label on it. He said it was morphine. He told the nurses and the patient, hey, this is morphine. And so, so he did it and, and, he, uh, and he set it up and he was able to then do whatever he needed. And, and the, uh, you know, the soldiers experienced pain, but just thought, you know, well, this is just a small amount compared to what I would do if I, because I'm on the morphine. And so he was able to amputate limbs and all sorts of things because the patients believed uh, that they were getting morphine. So there's, there's, a, there's just so much proof around placebo, yeah? And so it's, it's interesting. It's interesting when you think about placebo because Every single drug that goes on the market is tested against what? A double blind placebo controlled study, right? And so even the scientific and health community uh, have to agree that pl a placebo effect is a thing. Does that make sense, everybody? Does everyone get that? They don't, they don't release something unless it's been tested against a placebo. So even they have to appreciate that it's a thing. 
So what's interesting about that? What's interesting about that? Well, what's interesting to me is that they have figured out how to increase the chances of a placebo and also to, to decrease it. So there, there are such things as, as who tells you about the placebo, whether or not there's made up statistics and things around the pill, what color it is. So there's, there was so many ways to increase it, but here's what it came down to. It came down to self-belief. It came down to believing that this was going to work. Does that make sense? It's literally convinced that this is what was going to help. But the, usually the placebo is nothing but a sugar pill. Who thinks this is fascinating? We're here talking about creating health. And if you think about everything's tested against placebo, and then if you agree that we have the ability to increase the placebo effect, I think it's fascinating. Now, there's also something opposite of a placebo, and it's called a nocebo. This is the opposite. This is when something is proven to have an effect, but you create the opposite because of belief. So what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? It's an interesting question. What am I, what am I getting at here? Yeah, right on. I like it, Kim. I like what Kim's typed in. That, that health is a choice. You see, it's a choice. Think about that. How much do you think we have control over this at a super conscious level? It's absolutely huge. And Kim, it's so funny because the thing I've written down here in my notes, I literally wrote down, what if health was a choice? Hmm. What if health was a choice? Now, that's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Because when I go out into the society, I'm told, you know, it's funny because I'm watching the Australian Open at the moment, uh, the, the tennis. And uh, to watch the tennis in Australia, I can't just watch it on the normal apps. So I normally watch sport or, you know, NBA and things uh, on, on, a, on an app. And therefore, I don't get any ads. <laughs> but the tennis is on normal TV. So I had to watch TV last night. And boy, the ads are weird. There was one ad, it was like the most natural way to hydrate yourself. And it's like a plastic container with stuff you put in into a glass. And there's like a kid being like, better than water. You know, so, so many funny, funny ads, especially in health. And see, so what I see in society is the opposite of uh, agreeing that the placebo effect is real, saying, hey, you got no control over this, right? You got no control. You got to have this drink. You got no control. You need this pill. You got no control. You need this thing. And, and as I said at the beginning, it's probably quite accurate. You need those, especially if you believe it, especially if you 100% believe it. So... Look, what I'm trying to introduce here is that I believe that there is definitely some effect that your beliefs and your structures and your super conscious patterns have on health. Who agrees that there's at least some effect? And so if there is at least some effect, then we should continue doing all the other things that we do. And why don't we figure out how to also create energetic medicine for ourselves? Okay, so I think that this is a really great topic and it's something that I've not chosen to do before. So those of you watching the, the recording on this, this is probably going to be one of those powerful ones that we that a lot of people get. So if this is your first one, you guys are jumping right in the deep end because this is not a usual topic. So I think this is very, very, very cool. So here's my question. Let's get into this. Let's do some work. Let's do some work here. What is your choice, your end result when it comes to health? Our first question is, is, is always, what is the choice? Hey, Kate, what is your choice when it comes to health and vitality? Please type it in. I choose the end result of. What is your choice?
Mm, those are some good choices. Cool. Type in a number one uh, if you uh, or the choice. If you've written it down, just give me a number one. If you've typed in, that's great. It's good. And and uh, I'm not reading out everyone's, um, um, but I am reading them. I am reading them. So so in your choice, let's make sure that it's a, a true choice. Okay. So I'm just grabbing the the magnetic mind uh, two day workbook. And uh, for those of you who have watched the replay of the two day, making a true choice, very important. So firstly, when you look at your choice, the one way we want to make sure is it's not limited. So I want you to look at your choice, make sure it's not limited. Second, I want to make sure you haven't chosen indirectly. So you might have chosen something like, oh, I choose to work out every single day. You know, what's the end result? What's your true choice? Okay. Conditional choice. Make sure it's not got conditions on it. Right? Just just really just choose. Choose. Have an abundance of health and vitality to feel amazing. Choose something big. Definitely don't choose by reaction. Uh, Karen, I'm not following... what that is about. I'm getting a lot of messages, so I might have missed the first part of it. Cool. Okay, so we definitely want to make sure that it's, uh, that it's not a choice by reaction. Okay. This is one of the Nice. Got it, Karen. Cool. So you want to make sure that when you're choosing, that you're choosing to create, you're not trying to solve a problem. This is a very important, important distinction. Because if you're choosing to solve a problem, what you're doing is you're having to have the problem stay alive in order for that choice to manifest. So if the only way that you choose to be healthy is actually because you're choosing to get rid of something, that something doesn't know what it should turn into. So it never, ever resolves. Okay. So what we don't want to say is, you know, I choose to get rid of X condition. Okay, we don't want to bring that into this field. We are quantum beings. We can change timelines. We can shift energetically. And this is proven. Who's heard of stories of people with split personalities or multiple personalities? One of their personalities can actually have diabetes and then another personality has no diabetes. Because they change personality, their symptoms change. Now that's some incredible stuff. I don't know about you, but I think that's incredible. So we have the power to shift and the power to change. Okay, so please make sure that you're not bringing into your choice any of the, the current reality. Uh, Kerry, type in your end result. It's a good question. I just can't see the first one. I'm loving everyone um, putting this in. I've just got so many comments. I can't see the first part of that. You just got to choose. So who, who really gets that? Like if I'm choosing to create health because I'm sick to death of, of this, this, you know, this headache or this low energy, well, I'm just choosing out a reaction. I'm saying I want to be here because of this, right? But instead, just, just choose what you want. Just choose what you want. I choose the end result of being energetic, well, healthy, and free to do what I wish. Yeah. So why don't you just, yeah, that's good. That's it. Okay, so we're going to do some work, okay? So that's your choice. I think everyone's got some good choices I'm written down there, okay? So uh, what we want to do is 
Uh, when you think about that choice, we're going to now go back into the current reality, okay? But before we go into the current reality, I want you to step into the end result so you're energetically showing your body what it is you want, okay? Cool. Right on, right on. So, so uh, the thing is, is that, uh, Karen, you don't need the tuning forks. You can do it yourself which I think you know as well. Okay, so let's step into it, okay? Uh, so, so close your eyes and step into your end result of having all the energy, vitality, and health in exactly as you want it. And just do that. Just close your eyes right now and just say, I choose the end result of that. Step into it and experience it. Ask yourself, what's it like to have this? And I'll just choose it for all of you on here. Choose the end result of health and vitality, abundance of health and vitality for all of you. And just step into it, eyes closed, step into it, choose it. Nice. All right, so open your eyes and come back. How did it feel just to choose it? Yeah, felt good, felt good, cool, cool. Great, awesome. So now what we wanna do is we always wanna step into the second part of manifestation, okay? So once we, once we choose it, we then wanna go, well, where am I now? So I, I, wanna be, I wanna be over here, right, but I'm here. So we wanna, we wanna create that structure. We wanna create that structure. Yeah, right on. So ask yourself, what is it like now compared to that? Like in life in general, what's it like now? And either type it in or write a number two when you've done the second part of manifestation, the, the structural tension, the current reality. So what's it, what's it like now? Uh, the question is, is compared to what you're creating, what's it like now? Don't stay in the end result. Ask yourself, what's it like now over the past month, two weeks, whatever it is, right? Very important. Which Julie is that that I've just seen typed in? Is that Julie? Which Julie have I got on here? Ah, it is. Cool. Hey, Krista. I see you. Cool, cool. Okay. So, as an energy source, you always seek equilibrium. Okay. So, you know, out there, can you guys see out there? So that water, so that's flowing in right now. So the tension is flowing the water, it's coming in. But once it comes in, then the tide will go out, okay? Because energy always, always seeks equilibrium. Every energy source, including you, including me, we always, create, we always want to go along the path of least resistance towards equilibrium, and then we'll go out. So when you do what we're doing right now, these are the first two points of the recode, is you say, this is where I wanna be. Hey, Nikki, this is where I am now. So Nikki, if you've just joined us, end result of health and vitality, where are you now? And you'll be caught up. So, so those are the two end points. Now, if you and your energy system isn't moving to this, there's only one possible reason, and that's that there is a resistance to you being over here. Okay, there is something in your field that stops you. Okay, because you're if you're staying here, if it's not moving. So guys, write this down. Every choice in your life, so when you're choosing something, is either stuck, so it's not moving. Write this down. It's either stuck, or it's oscillating, or it's flowing. 
So oscillating means sometimes you are here and then you come back. That's oscillating. You move forward and back and forward and back. Flowing is you're just going that way consistently to it. So write this in, stuck, oscillating, or flowing. Every choice is either stuck, oscillating, or flowing. So why does it flow? It flows because you are in the end result. This is an advancing structure. It just moves. When it's flowing, there's no resistance. When it's stuck, there's too much resistance, so it's flowing in a different direction. When it's oscillating, it means that you created that to get away from something. So it can't just flow because the something you're trying to get away from still exists in your field. This is the number one reason why people don't create what they want. They move two steps forward, but their past pulls them back because they were trying to get away from something rather than just collapsing it all into the now and choosing what they want to create. Does this make sense? We want you just to be advancing and flowing to exactly what you want. And in fact, that's what magic is all about. That's the magic of getting into this moment. You should just be able to have whatever you want and recode any resistance. But there's so much stuff that is put in our field that creates resistance and it's not even your fault. Between the ages of zero and seven, you had no conscious filter. So you just brought in, you know, uh, what was what was there? You also might have family patterning around health that it's supposed to be this way, instructions through your DNA.